Hey guys, it's uh, Chris you're seeing here back again for another Informer Review video. This one deals uh, strictly with firearms today, and the firearm I'm going to be discussing with the accessories is the uh, Vepper 12 platform right here. As usual, I got my one Vepper 12 here, and today what I'm going to be talking about is uh, um, upgrades and accessories for this one, uh, primarily for the muzzle brake and magazine as well too, guys. So uh, first and foremost. Uh, what we'll be discussing first is the actual muzzle brake specifically. Uh, the muzzle brake I got my gun right now is the GK series right here. I have the uh, ME equivalent of the Molot 1. The only difference between the Molot 1 and the ME made in uh, Ukraine 1 is they have uh, five gills on the rear facing portion right here for that as opposed to the typical Molot 1 that has four gills. So they did have a revised, um, we will call it revised copy, whatever it is right there for that. But uh, this one works quite uh, effectively for your gun out there for that. And as usual, they um, they typically retail for about 100, 115, 120 bucks, depending on where you actually specifically get them from. And uh, they're a quality unit as uh, there as well too. So I'll move on to the next one I got here for that. For example, as I stated in my previous videos, I was talking about. The, uh, the GK series has uh, three main um, uh, types right now in the market. They have the GK01 with the two different variations for it. They have the GK02 right here, which I have in my hand right here. This one has mainly the revised uh, four gills in the back because the original Molot GK01 style had four gills in the back. However, they were at an extreme angle. And uh, because of that, uh, they did revise um, the, the actual uh, rear facing cameras or, or, or gills, what they call them, the exhaust ports. I, I, I basically call them the exhaust ports because uh, anytime you're shooting your gun and uh, the spent gas is going through the, uh, the muzzle brake, you have spent gas is going to come out of the side, so it's basically exhaust gas from the actual run being fired. And they basically redesigned, enlarged, and bellowed the actual uh, rear facing camera, so they're on a less of a steep angle right here for that. And that's the primary design change they have for uh, this specific brake over the original GK01. So the GK02 is an upgrade from the typical GK01 style brake, even though it only has four um, four exhaust ports on here, as opposed to one of on my gun, which is a GK01 ME equivalent, it which had five. So basically, this one definitely increases the recoil, or it basically it decreases the recoil from your gun and kicking and being um, pushed back uh, on you right there for that. Because if you have more gas coming out of the side on a less of an angle, you have more flow right there for that. So you have a more of a, uh, a charge to basically pull the gun forward to um, basically decrease the recoil going back at you right here for that. So that's a GK02 series break. And on the last one right here, this is the newest brake they got on the market currently right now. This is a uh, GK03 brake. Uh, this just came in the market, I believe, about probably about a month, month. I mean, some, it was it, it been about a month ago. Because I, I got this pretty recently right here. Uh, this is in arms, I believe, is the uh, the, the actual in, import distributor for these uh, specific brakes. So uh, this is the upgraded version right here over the typical GK02 and GK01 style brake. And the reason I was making this video primarily was because I could not locate anybody on YouTube that had a comparison, you know, some kind of bench comparison between all three specific brakes, even though uh, these all three brakes are currently in a market right now. So that's why I was making my video right now for that. So this is definitely an improvement over the GK02 brake right here for that. Uh, you notice uh, they did revise the actual brake itself right here for that. Uh, on the top of the brake, they uh, have only two chambers on the top right here. The older design, the GK02 and the GK01 have three uh, chambers on the top here for that. And uh, the other thing they revised on the back was uh, the actual gill slits. They have uh, three gill slits on the back here right now. And the other um, primary difference is they also uh, changed the uh, the side, um, basically the uh, the side port right here on the right hand side, the actual like pitch and yaw or pitch and throw, whatever you want to call it here. Because anytime you shoot your Vepper 12, it's going to be throwing up and a bit to the right. So they uh, basically decreased the size from three ports on a side down to only two ports, and the ports are actually slightly enlarged as well too. So basically, it looks like. 
the, the, the actual designer, Mr. Illing, um, basically compensated by changing, having um, two enlarged ports as opposed to having three small ports and basically changing the design, as I said before, with the top three ports on here and basically enlarging the actual two, having two big ports. So basically, uh, you have a smaller package for basically the same amount of uh, potent uh, recoil reduction and recoil reduction and keeping the gun shooting flat as you can possibly have right there for that. Uh, I, I, I do uh, want to recommend uh, these new ones. I believe that they look like they're uh, CNC machined or, or, or uh, I should say the actual machining on there actually looks a lot better than the typical uh, GK02 one right here for that because if you compare the overall fit and quality of the actual finish on the uh, outside of the, um, the, the the actual body of the, um, the muzzle brake uh, you notice this one or you can basically see all the uh, machine marks and everything else on here and stuff like that it, it doesn't look like they put any kind of uh, you know, anodized coating or some kind of powder coating or anything else on here for that. But you can basically see all the machine marks on here, and it's uh, basically uh, it, it looks like it, it looks like it's a lot rougher overall, personally, right here for that. So uh, they did upgrade the actual overall quality. Plus, it's black on her for that too, and you can actually see the uh, the machine marks on her, even though it looks a lot more in actual fine detail. It, it, it basically screams quality, personally. That's my personal definition right here for that. And um, that's basically what it looks like from each side right there for that. Plus, they also have a revised cone shape area in the back right here for it. It's, it's more of a tapered cone as opposed to the typical uh, blocky area they have on the original brakes right here for it as well, too, guys. So that's another um, uh, feature they have, like a, um, we we'll don't call weight saving feature or something else like that, possibly. Uh, they, um, this in arms did claim that this uh, new brake is, I think it's about one ounce lighter than the original brake, I, I believe. It's, it's it's like one ounce lighter. I, I think it's one ounce lighter than the GK02 brake, so you have some weight saving, um, uh, basically, uh, weight saving capability right there for that, so it's, it's going to be lighter when you're shooting it out there for that, so it's less of a, um, a weight burden on it if, if uh, you're worried about weight and stuff like that after your gun and shooting it out there for that, so that's basically. Um, everything they have about the, uh, the specific details on there for that. Uh, as I said before, it's definitely a quality unit, the GK03. Like I said before, overall it looks in, in uh, uh, basically a lot better condition. It looks like somebody might have CNC machine because if you look on the, all, the, all the milling parts on here and everything else, it looks a lot finer quality on there for that. And uh, the actual surface looks a lot cleaner on here. You don't have any. Um, uh, you don't have a lot uh, of the rougher surface you would find on the uh, GK02 one right here, and even on the uh, the GK01 I have right here. Uh, the GK01 as I said before, you can actually see it, and uh, a lot of the surface on here uh, definitely has a lot more. Um, we don't call it coarse milling marks on here as well too. Well, that's uh, basically gone on the typical GK03 break right here for that. Uh, I should mention uh, a buddy of mine locally, uh, me and him basically bought uh, this same break um, almost at the same time here this past, this past, this past week, week and a half, whatever it is. And uh, we got, went, went to his range up there and I uh, checked it out over there and um, we basically compared um, like swapping because EP basically got the same kind of breaks I got over here. You get the original GK01, the five gold, the GK02, which is this one right here and the GK03 and basically we were swapping out his brakes on his gun to try to you know um, over um, see what the perceived recoil is on, on each one and I'd say uh, overall this one feels probably about the best in terms of our uh, recoil reduction basically you have a, uh, a an actual shorter brake right here for that so you're gonna actually see the brakes I'll even show you here side by side so you got a nose to be shorter brake plus it's also lighter and plus the other thing is uh, you have less chambers on her because they compensated by basically doubling up on the chamber. You got, you got two chambers here as opposed to having three chambers on the original style plus the new revised GK02 brake. So, so, they, so they, they basically killed two birds with one stone. It made, made it a little bit shorter but improved the, uh, the features where they were on a previous generation of brake under Ford to give it a, a bet, uh, an overall better, more um, recoil reduction here as well too. Plus, on the back on here, the GK02 has four gills on there, as you see right here, two for that, and the GK01 
Uh, 0 3 1 here. Hemi has three right here for that, but uh, it looks like they're actually closer to the back of the, um, you know, the, the actual thread area right here for that. So it might provide uh, more of a, um, a recoil reduction if they're closer to the back of the actual where, area where it threads onto your end of your barrel right here for that. So, so when, it, when the gas passes closer to it, it'll be um, kicking back less on your fore right there as well too. So overall, I'm very, I'm very satisfied with this kind of break, the GK03. And uh, it's definitely a quality unit, as I said before here for that. Uh, they also have on the left-hand side, you probably basically barely, uh, barely see it on here right there. I'll give you a close-up view of it as well too after I get done talking about it here right now. They have a uh, name on it. It says SCI number three plus, and below that it says Custom Guns below that because Custom Guns over in Russia is the ones who actually make these, I believe, and basically distant arms um, imports and for distribution in the United States. So. I would uh, definitely recommend going with this in arms to get get these uh, specific brakes because they are quality units. Uh, give them two thumbs up because they, they basically keep the gun extremely flat shooting out here for that. It's, it's basically, I'd say if, you, if, if I was going to compare the GK02, the revised one right here, to the uh, the newer GK03, this one edges out the GK02 in two reasons, or uh, in two areas mainly. It's the weight and size plus also uh, the recoil reduction because uh, we were running buckshot and some light bird shot and it, and it felt like this one kept the gun uh, a little bit better in recoil maybe about five or ten percent it, it, it's, it's not going to be that much it's going to basically be uh, negligible i'd say between five and ten percent on, on most uh, rounds you're shooting out here but it definitely is a increase over the older gk02 break here for that so i definitely recommend it so on the next thing here is uh, the other upgrade I had for my gun here as well too. This is a specific upgrade for a magazine well right here for that. It's called a magazine funnel. It's uh, also, you can also purchase it uh, from Dissident Arms right here to see it. It's a magazine funnel. Basically what you do is you um, bolt it onto the bottom of your uh, magazine. I have, a, I, I have a typical plastic uh, magazine um, uh, well right here for that. And, you bolt this on to the bottom of your flared magazine, the OEM factory one, and uh, I, but it's made by Custom Guns over in Russia as well too. They also import for dissident arms, and uh, you uh, secure it by having uh, set screws. It has four set screws on this piece right here. You have two in the front, and you have two in the back, and you install it by um, putting the set screws up, or you, you take them all the way out, and then you get a little Allen wrench. This is uh, what I have. It's a uh, two. Uh, two millimeter Allen wrench right here. You need a two millimeter Allen wrench, and you basically you put the set screws in here. You have two in the front, two in the back. You make sure the uh, middle of the aluminum uh, funnel right here is basically butt up against your plastic OEM stock piece right here for the mag well. And you basically put your Allen in, in each one of the bottoms right here, and you basically tighten it up. You, you want to snug it up. You don't want to overly tighten it because it's basically going up against plastic right here for that. So. Uh, I do recommend uh, putting blue uh, thread locker, or if uh, you basically want to keep on a gun in permanent uh, fix set or fix like uh, maybe like a permanent fixture on a gun right there, uh, you can probably put some red uh, lock light on or lock tight on her for that. So it's definitely a good upgrade, and uh, it actually improves if, if you don't want to pony up the cash to um, uh, get the actual. Uh, competition aluminum milled uh, mag well freeze guns because this one uh, almost takes a place of that one right here as a simple like snap on thing even though you have to put the set screws in there to keep it up in position so just pop it up in there and that's basically what it is so that's all uh, that's all the videos I got right here for that one right there it's made by custom guns I give it two thumbs up for that uh, mag well upgrade it's a good piece as I said before it's milled aluminum right here so it's, it'll be it'll be quite snug whenever you put it up on a gun it'll be snug fitting onto the plastic so don't be alarmed by that but uh, once you get it up on there make sure it's nice and secure on there and you simply put the four set screws on there and uh, tighten them down do not over tighten them you're going onto plastic because that's where it's holding on because the set screws are like uh, shaped like little tits on there they're going right on the plastic and they don't have a huge space for um, you know service coverage where they're actually going. So just snug them up, do not over tighten them. And if you want to keep on in long term, put either blue Loctite or 
if you're going to make a, a permanent fix, you're put red on there as a permanent means of securing an owner for that. Okay, so I'll give you a snapshot of the uh, two brakes here, plus my original brake here as well, too, for the, the Vepers, so you can have a side-by-side, -side, since I told you I was going to give you a close-up uh, picture of these brakes as well, too, guys. So bear with me here for a couple seconds, and I'll get these things situated here, so I'll give you a close-up view, so you can see... Uh, see which one you like personally and as I said before the uh, GK03 is a definite improvement over the past GK02 and the GK01 series brakes whether you buy the one from ME or the one from Moloch the M for the uh, GK01 or the GK02 series brakes so let me give you a close-up view and I'll show you what the other portions and parts look like here okay Okay, let me get the camera focus here for you guys. There we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, the original uh, GK brake right here is the one I currently got my gun right now. This is GK01 made by ME, as I stated in the previous uh, portion of the video. And the lower one right here is the GK Molot GK02 series with the revised gills in the back as well too. And this one, uh, they do have different versions of these locking nuts on here as well, too, so I just want to show you guys that. The uh, GK02, this one is the Molot version right here. They have uh, a semi-circular lock nut on them for this one right here. This is the one that goes with this one. And the newer rev revised GK03 brake right here, this is the one imported by Dissident Arms. They have a revised one right here with uh, curled um, uh, adapters on the end here right here as well, too. You can see these little little um cross hatch shapes on here for this uh, specific type right here for that so it's actually made better than the typical molot one right there so i definitely recommend that as well too for that specific upgrade so let me give you a close-up view of this one there's the revised gills for the gk02 you can see them right there you see how um bellowed and enlarged they are as opposed to the typical uh, gk01 series brakes right here for it and that's the main revised I uh, think they did on the brake right here for that. So that's what it looks like the top dime. From the side as well, two guys. Okay, here's a GK03 brake. And there's the top dime picture again as well. Let me, show, let me roll this thing around here a little bit for you. There we go. There's the, left, there's the right side with the enlarged uh, side uh, ports right there as four as well. And there's the top as well, two guys. So there you go. And it also has the revised ports similar to the GK02 series brakes. However, they are uh, looks like they're slightly larger than the GK02 ones on the 03 ones. Look, they're better machined on there as well too. And you can definitely notice the difference when comparing the uh, GK01 to the GK02 and the 03s. You can tell the uh, GK01 see how steep the angle is right here for the actual guild slits right here then the gk02 has revised ones that provide more of exhaust flow right here for that plus the gk03 has one less slit however it's actually better machined on here for that so it looks like it's going to provide the same amount of exhaust blow back for the brake as opposed to the oem one so it's basically three Basically, we'll take a place of four right here for that as well too. So that's where they were. That's where they made the actual revisement in some of the parts right here for that. Plus, they also revised the actual side holes as well too. So this is the GK03, GK01 made by ME, and the GK02 made by Molot. So you can see the differences definitely right there for that. So that's basically everything I uh, talked about today, guys. I'll give you another shot of the actual flared magwell here as well too guys so there you go get a better picture sorry about that there you go there's a magwell for you fits on it like a glove as i said before you gotta get a um, allen wrench and put your set screws on there to tighten up you got two in the back right here one and two and then you got two in the front right here one two and just snug them up on her for that and do not over tighten them because you'll basically possibly crack the plastic right there for that so put some blue loctite on the front and back 
and it'll work perfectly fine. If you're going to keep it on her for long term on her, put a uh, red light lock tight on her for that. So if anybody has any comments, questions, whatnot, feel free to uh, leave me a message here and I'll call or I'll, I'll email you back as quickly as possible. I'll see you guys. Have a nice day.